North Carolina will continue with next year's election under new districts that favor Republicans winning seats in Congress and the General Assembly. A federal judge shot down a request to step in this week just days before candidates start to file to run. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh with more on the significance of this for 2024. Michael. And this means that the districts Republicans drew will stay in place, at least for now. Experts who I talked to, though, say they've been surprised by how all this has gone the last few weeks. Oh, thank you. North Carolina will stay on track to hold its primary election in March, with new districts Republicans drew for the state legislature and the state's 14 seats in the U.S. House of Representatives. Two black voters have sued, saying Republicans unconstitutionally drew the districts for the state Senate by diluting the strength of black voters in the northeastern part of the state. A federal judge rejected their request to weigh in on the case this week, with candidates scheduled to start filing to run beginning Monday. The judge questioned why attorneys waited about four weeks to file their lawsuit. The case will still move forward, but for now it means the districts remain. The judge deciding, no, I'm not going to go along with this uh, sort of outlandish timeline really does make things better for the Republicans who want to see those districts in place. Republicans are trying to hold their veto-proof supermajority in the state legislature next year and could flip as many as four of the state's congressional seats under the new maps. What surprised political observers is that no one has filed any lawsuits challenging the congressional districts or the map for the state House of Representatives. It's mystifying to me. David McLennan is an expert on state politics at Meredith College. The fact that there has been no movement indicates that they may have questions about the legitimacy of a case using the Voting Rights Act. We asked Democratic Governor Roy Cooper about the issue. Republicans intentionally delayed to cause this problem. This lawsuit is very aggressive because this map is unconstitutional. Democrats have indicated that more lawsuits are likely coming, but for now, everything moves forward with the election for next year as planned. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.